Hello everyone, this is Miss Chen Fei. Today we are going to make a small art installation about a frog and two tadpoles in a water lily pond. For the supplies, you need a paper plate, toilet paper roll. If you don't have toilet paper roll, you can use a paper towel roll, just cut it in half. We have a small piece. Green paper, washable paint, watercolor, markers. You only need one of the three, so either one is fine. To start, we are going to mix some light blue and bluish green color. To mix light blue, you will need some white and blue. To mix green, you will mix yellow and blue together. Make sure you have more yellow than blue. I start with a big brush, trying to get some different shades of blue on my plate. If you do not have a plate, a piece of paper would work. doesn't have to be a circle shape. Any shape as a background would be fine. For the background, please remember, we're trying to get different layers of the color and different texture, so you do not have to make the blue and the green all look same. So trying to get the different texture and different colors on the plate. And also, when you're painting the plate, thinking about how the water moves in a pond. When you're done, please leave your plate somewhere safe to dry. Now let's focus on the frog. To make the frog body, you need stable one side of toilet paper roll. If you have a paper rolls like me, the color is brown, I highly recommend you paint the paper roll white first before you do any other color on top. Now we will paint the frog. You can use the same green we had before, just add a little bit more yellow in there. Or you can mix a new green. When you start trying to hold the toilet paper roll like me, Put your two fingers in the middle and hold the top paper roll. We're trying to paint the front and the back. When you finish, do not lay the frog body on the table or any paper, trying to have the frog body stand up so you have less surface of the pin touch the table. Now we are making the four legs for the frog. We're going to do the front leg first and then the back leg. For me, I only did one for each. When I fold the paper, I cut them together so I have two the same size of the leg. You may also do one at a time and then do four different legs.
When you're done, save the four legs on the side until further. Now we are going to focus on the two tadpoles. For the tadpoles, I only did two here. You may do as many as you like. Just draw the shape on the paper. This time we're going to do each individual ones. We don't want them to look exactly the same. After you finish cutting, we are going to paint the green on tadpoles as well. You only have to do one side of tadpoles because we're going to glue them on the plate on the background, so you will only see one side of tadpoles. Save them on the side. Now let's get your green paper to work on the water lily pad. If you do not have green paper, you can do the same thing. Just get a piece of white paper and color it green. We are going to draw the shape of the water lily pad on the paper and then cut them. Now double check your plate. If it's dried, you can glue the water lily pad on top. You're going to gently put some glue on the background, then put each water lily pad on top of the glue. Make sure to not have too much glue under the water lily pad. When you're thinking about the design of the picture, make sure you save some space for the tadpoles and also save a big space for your frog. Now, I'm going to paint a couple water lilies. You may choose any colors you like for your water lilies. Here, I choose some white and pink. To make pink, you will need lots of white with a little bit red in it. Now, let's glue the tadpoles on the background as well. I do not have black paint with me, so I use a black marker to do the eyes for the tadpoles. Now let's focus on the frog. For the legs, on one side I already paint over with some green. Make sure I save a little bit of the white space. That space will be where you put glue over. After you did one side, make sure you do the other side. We are not going to glue the frog on the pond, so make sure you can see every single space of your frog.
After they are dried, we are going to glue the legs on the frog. Remember the white space we saved earlier? That's where we're going to put some glue on. I also use my black marker to add eyeballs for my frog. Make sure the frog is all dry before you put on the pond. And we're not going to glue the frog so you can move the frog a little bit. It looks like the frog is swimming in the pond. Hope you enjoy this. Nice work today. I will see you next time. Bye.